These ATMs will try to trick your card. If you haven't seen our video about it, you can check it out on the Honest Guide channel. But since we published that video, we got a lot of messages from you, our viewers, sending us pictures of these ATMs all around the world, from Portugal, Croatia, Bulgaria, wherever there are tourists, there are these ATMs. And to prove my point, I'm walking backwards because we're in Prague, which is a big tourist destination, walking from one ATM right to another one. I was hoping we would make this in one shot. Right to another one. Just to prove my point, where there's tourists, there's these ATMs. And there's actually a receipt at this ATM from whoever was the person before me who used it. And I can see he withdraw 600 crowns, but his card was charged for 31.1 euros, which is 786 crowns. So he was charged 13% markup on the exchange rate plus four euros for using the ATM. He lost a lot of money on that little amount. I think we're getting to the point that at one day we're gonna be making videos where the fee from this ATM is higher than the amount you actually get out. There are actually so many of these ATMs in Prague that from one, you can see another, and from the other, you can see another brother. I've actually counted all of them that are in downtown Prague, and I've created this map. You can find the link below the video in the description so you can get the idea of how many of them are in the city center. And it's important to mention, they are not where people live because there's only very few people living in the downtown of Prague, but they are where tourists are. Because just as you saw on the example we gave you or from our previous video, this ATM doesn't make money on the locals, but on the tourists. I'm really trying to keep my ATM map up to date, which isn't easy, some of the ATMs have disappeared, but many new ones popped up throughout the last year. And there's something different here, because the ATM is not in the window or in the door, the company rented out the entire space, locked it out with a wall, and placed an ATM here. In this case, just one. But some houses, like this one that is culturally protected, are lucky enough to have two ATMs on each corner. Uh, in this case, I have an idea why they're putting the ATMs inside rather than into the window, into the facade. Because back in the days, they had some serious trouble with the Prague or the Czech Heritage Institute. For example here, right next to the Charles Bridge on this beautiful street, they wanted to place an ATM into this building. So they asked the Cultural uh, Heritage Institute and they said, no way, that would be a brutal impact on the look of the building and on the look of the street. So they said, no, you cannot place an ATM in the window. And they did. And this one has been here for a couple of years now. By the way, they even placed an ATM here in one-of-a-kind cubist kiosk in the world without the permission of the National Heritage Institute. Luckily, it's gone, but according to the statement we have from the Heritage Institute, the placing of the ATM destroyed the cubist kiosk irreversibly. We have worked on this topic with our friend Yirka, who was digging information through the official offices, and you found out some very interesting info about the ATMs, right? Yeah, the company wanted to put the ATM in the Spanish synagogue in Prague. Uh, the National Heritage Institute actually said no, because, well, they said the ATM would destroy the look of the building, the pedestrians would have nowhere to walk. It, it's just, just a bad idea to yeah. put an ATM into a synagogue, right? Exactly. Like, you would never want to see that in the city, right? Yeah, never. Yeah, yeah. There, there's more than just one synagogue in Prague and we actually just found out that they did put an ATM in a synagogue. And uh, yeah, you be the judge if it's blocking the walkway or if it's obstructing the look of the synagogue. But to be fair, if the officials will be able to put this ATM away, don't worry, there's one right here. I was gonna say there, but it's like here. And just on the side note, not only they put an ATM in a synagogue, they also put it in a hotel door 
but believe it or not, and somebody sent me the picture and I double checked it, they placed an ATM in the Terezin concentration camp here in Czech Republic, which to me is just like really disgusting. These ATMs make a lot of money, so they pay a lot of money to the owners of the properties so they're able to place them in good locations. We know of a case where they were offering 2,000 euros a month for this tiny little space in a wall so they could put in the ATM. But 2,000 euros they offered only to a private building owner. In case of the Prague Castle, when they put an ATM over there, they only paid 360 euros a month to the Prague Castle. And now let me reverse the whole thing, because there are cases when some smaller cities in Czech Republic do not have an ATM, so Euronet steps in to help. And they offered, we will give you an ATM, uh, not a problem, but you gotta pay us 760 euros a month if we put our ATM there. Kind of funny, isn't it? Which is once again proving my point that they only make money off tourists, not off locals. Luckily, in the case of this town, the locals actually voted on Facebook and they said, no, we do not want this ATM here. Thumbs up to you guys. When there were literally no tourists last year in Prague, I was watching this company putting up new ATMs and I heard one local as he was watching them say, well, very soon it's gonna be just me and these ATMs all around me. So I hope this will not be the case of Prague, even though when Honza was in Lisbon this year, he said, man, it looks like just like Prague. There's ATM on every corner. The only difference in Prague is that we have Trdelnik's on every corner as well. If you're gonna start giving Trdelnik to people, it's my idea, patent pending. <laughs> We've covered this topic multiple times, so if you still have no idea how the system in the ATM works, how it's tricking tourists, we have a video about that on our channel, The Honest Guide. Many other videos, we're making new videos every week, so stay tuned and we promise to bring you more news from Prague and from other destinations we go to. And at the end, I'm gonna teach you a Czech word, which in this case will be PR agentura. Agentura pro styk s veřejností. PR agency. Agentura pro styk s veřejností. In case there's a PR problem, uh, PR problem, you hire the agency. PR agenturu. <coughs> yeah, this may be uh, too much of an inside joke. Yeah, I'm sure all viewers get it.